Good morning guys, how you doing? Just enjoying a nice brew in my uh, favourite Ford mug. I haven't been paid to advertise for Ford, I promise. Anyway, I thought I owe you guys an update really. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, as always. I normally leave a month or so gap because I'm slacking, I know, and I apologise. Um, basically, I've had some encouraging news this past few weeks with the RS. I've actually got a build date of this Friday, which is the 27th of January. Um, and I have a VIN number now as well. So hopefully that will all go through and the car will be built this week. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh, Friday, it's a Friday car, it's gonna be built, bits missing off it, etc. because all the staff wanna go home early. I think that's just a myth and I'm not too worried about it being a Friday car, to be honest. Um, at the end of the day, the same quality control standards are gonna have to be met. So I'm not worried about it being a Friday car. I just want this car to be built and I just want to take ownership of it and I just want to drive it. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, this Friday, so I'm trying to, basically you can go online on the ETIS, Ford ETIS website and you can put in the VIN number and then it'll, it'll bring up the details of the car. Um, until it's literally about to be built, nothing will show up. So at the minute when I put the VIN in, I'm not getting any results back. So hopefully Thursday, Friday morning sort of time, I will start to get some information on there. Um, once it's built, I'm hoping it'll be at the dealer at some point um, mid to late February. Um, the problem with this is if it, if it does turn up kind of early Feb, then I'm gonna be in a predicament where do I wait for the 17 plate which comes out in March or do I just go for it and just have a, a late 66 plate? I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna be hard to turn the car down um, if it arrives early to mid Feb to wait for the 17 plate. So I'll, I'll have to see how I feel, but is it really beneficial to wait for a 17 plate? Will it make much of a difference to the value? I don't know. You, you might know more than I do. Um, all I know is I just want to get in the car and drive it. Um, so yeah, so I mean, that's it. So hopefully, hopefully next month or early March, I can do the collection video and then I can just start getting all the videos out that you've been waiting for. Um, with the car and with my reactions to the car and what I think of it because it's been a long time coming now it's been nearly nine months waiting um, it's a hell of a long wait I just can't wait to get it so anyway preparation for the car I've done a few little bits I've bought um, some cleaning products and stuff that are in the garage which I'll just show you in a minute and I've also got um, a new little GoPro which I'll also show you a little budget GoPro which is really cool so I've got two GoPros now um, hopefully I can use these for my future videos to make them just a little bit better just to get a few more angles etc but I'll show you them now so this is my camera bag where I keep all my bits and bobs for filming here's my Canon 50D unfortunately I can't do videos on that because it's quite an old DSLR camera but it's still a good camera anyway but I should be upgrading that hopefully to a 70D maybe um, so I can do some filming on that these are the cameras that I use for my videos, along with my iPhone, which I'm recording on now. I'm no sort of professional um, videographer or anything like that, just a, a DIY sort of guy. Um, not after anything too special, as long as you get the message. But here's my GoPro suction mount, which is really good for the uh, the outer car shots, um, exhaust, uh, sound clips, etc. Must have if you've got a GoPro. This one here is the GoPro I normally use. This is just a standard Hero. Um, it's discontinued now, but it was £99. Um, I got it from Argos. It's been a great little camera. has a 1080p, um, 30 frames per second and 720, 60 frames per second. Um, so I've had no issues with that one. And this is the new one that I've got, which I thought was a bargain. This is a Hero Plus LCD. I got it from Curry's. It was reduced down to £99. Um, this one actually has a screen on the back. So if I turn it on, you should be able to see the screen liven up. That's it. It's high. It's not really, the phone isn't really picking up with the image. There we go. Yeah, so it's got a nice wide angle on it. It's a great little camera and it's also um, Wi-Fi enabled so you can sync it up to the app on your phone and you can control it from your phone, which makes it a bit more user friendly as well. So yeah, that was a bargain at um, £99 from Curry's. So yeah, this is the kit I'm going to be using along with my iPhone. As I say, hopefully get a new DSLR. Um, which will give me better quality videos and I'm going to get another lens as well, a better lens. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'll go to the garage now and I'll show you the, the cleaning bits I've got for the RS and I've done a few little bits in the garage itself. So let's go and have a look at that. So we're inside the good old garage now. I seem to end up in here every time I do a video. 
Um, so I've put this bit of carpet on the wall to protect the door of the RS when it's coming in, even though I've got the edge protectors anyway, just to safe to do it. So I've just got a bit of plywood, cut it down to size, um, attached that to the wall with screws, and then I glued some old carpet um, onto the plywood um, just to stop the door from getting damaged by the wall, because it's going to be quite tight in here, you can see, but it's going to be quite tight. But it's just cheaper than buying the stuff online that you can get, that you can stick on the walls. I mean, that was free. I had all the materials hanging around anyway. Um, I'm getting the, all these electrics done in the next few weeks, and I'm also getting a new garage roof done, starting on Wednesday this week, so two days. Um, I've got a pressure washer, you can see there, a little car shirt. And I've got these two buckets, so I can do like the two bucket method when cleaning, and they've got grit guards in the bottom as well. Um, See the picture there, basically you get a grit guard at the bottom. I've got some auto finesse snow foam. I've never done snow foaming before, but I'm gonna give it a go. And obviously, to use the snow foam, I've got the little snow foam lance, which I've got off Amazon, pretty cheap. Um, and I've also got a few little bits here. Just got some more auto glim stuff, aqua wax, which is really good. I've got a drying towel, and I'm gonna get a new washer soon. So, yes. So yeah, that's it really. I'm, I mean, I've kind of got all the gear now, kind of ready for it. Just need the car to arrive. So hopefully, fingers crossed, in a few days' time, it will be built. And then the next video that I do will hopefully be the collection video. So bear with me. It might be a month or so, but um, hopefully the next video will be good. So thanks again for subscribing. Um, I know it's a pretty boring video, but there's not much else I can really tell you at the minute. But um, if you did like it, then hit the like button and feel free to subscribe if you haven't done already. I'm now at over 1100, I think. No, over 1000, sorry, yeah, because that's what I was going for last time. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Thanks to everyone um, for the support and take care and I'll see you soon.